In this demonstration, I'm going to show you how you can import chart of accounts lists from Excel or text files into QuickBooks desktop using Z axis. Probably already familiar with the IIF or Excel import feature built into QuickBooks to bring in chart of accounts lists. But what I'm going to show you with Z axis is a more powerful and smarter way to do that with a lot more functionality. So, for example, if you're looking to export a chart of accounts from one QuickBooks file and import it into another, Axis has a built-in export feature and import feature specifically designed for the chart of accounts list. Secondly, if you're looking to say clean up your chart of accounts list, you have multiple duplicate accounts that you're looking to merge together. So Z-Axis also has a merge list feature. So you can merge in batch multiple chart of accounts lists very simply and very easily. Or you might be wanting to make multiple accounts inactive to hide them from use in QuickBooks. That's also possible. Finally, two points are Axis has the ability to add custom fields in batch to chart of accounts, as well as creating open balances, which is done by importing a trial balance journal. So there are a lot of great, powerful features that you can take adv advantage of that's within Z-Axis. So let's get onto the desktop and I'll show you exactly how it does it. So the first step is to open your QuickBooks company file. And then I'm going to open Z-Axis, select QuickBooks desktop and I make a connection. Next, in the import tab, I'm going to browse to the file that contains my chart of accounts list. Now, this is one that I've prepared earlier that has some fields in it. Now, if you wanted to import a chart of accounts from a Excel file or a text file or even an IIF file, we support those file formats as well. So you'll see the data that's contained within that sample file here. Next, we're going to create a mapping. So we're going to select the type of account. So we're going to select the transaction type as an account list. And we'll go through this process of putting in the fields here that we're going to need to import into QuickBooks. So if you've got um, sub accounts, then you'll need to put in the parent name in here and then the full account name in there. We'll go through and we can map all the fields that we need to bring in. So we also support um, open balance and open balance date. Now these are only if the account hasn't been created before. And sometimes what we find is it's easier to actually create those opening balances with a journal entry. So that's where we can achieve that as well. So once we're ready, we can give the mapping a name. So we can reuse that on subsequent imports. If you need any help with any of the fields, there is a link here which will go to a web page on our website which um, goes through each of the fields and what's expected within that. So that will give you some more assistance. And there's sample download templates that you can get from there as well. And it gives you a description of each of these fields and what's expected. For example, like account type, we're looking for these particular values. So they'll need to match in order to uh, successfully create those types of accounts and so on. So once we've got that map, we can save it. And we can come back and we can go through the process of then importing those directly into um, your QuickBooks file. So if you have the ability to um, only select certain rows here, you can filter these rows for certain values um, so we can simplify the imports. There's a lot more flexibility around what can be brought in and what, um, what fields are required. So we click on import and Axis will validate the data to make sure it's in the correct format and then begin the process of directly importing those into your QuickBooks desktop company file in batch. So those are three very simple accounts that we've created in QuickBooks. If we want to see those, we can click on the view and it will take you directly to that account that we've just imported. 
so you can check to make sure the details all as you need them. Um, if you decide that um, it's not in the format you want, then you can actually select here and you can roll back or delete those accounts um, before you know you move forward and reattempt the import with the correct information. So that's just a few examples of how it's smarter or more powerful features when using Z axis for importing those accounts. I also mentioned that there's a few other examples or case studies that you might have or challenges that you might be facing when it comes to um, importing accounts or modifying or cleaning up accounts lists in QuickBooks. So the first one was actually transferring a chart of accounts from one QuickBooks file to another. So with Axis, we've got the ability to select the export type as an account list, and we can grab a list of accounts from your QuickBooks file very easily, and then save them to an Excel sheet. And the idea being here that you can then um, modify them or update them or do what you need to do them before importing into another QuickBooks file. So um, we can just put this here. We can say accounts list and we can save that to Excel. So we've now got a copy of that Excel file on our desktop. We go through and we can make the necessary adjustments and then import into another company file by creating a new chart of accounts there. So that's just one way of transferring or moving a chart of accounts from one QuickBooks file to another. So the other feature that Axis has is the ability to merge accounts together. So what I'll do is I'll grab some more test data so you can see that in action. So we've got a text file. So we've got a sample file here. We can open that. And here we've got two examples of uh, an account that you want to merge together. If you're looking to batch merge a lot of accounts, so you might have you know, 50 accounts that you want to rationalize, you want to um, keep simple, we can add a new mapping. Can we, we use this merge feature to merge all those accounts into one or merge them twos into one or as necessary. So the idea being that you can rationalize your accounts list so you'd select the list type that you're merging, which is an account. We're going merge from and merge to. And we can give that mapping a name, save. And again, we just want to select these two accounts. We can merge and then import. So in this example, I've got two accounts. I've got one, which is retail sales. I want to merge to sales retail and advertising expense I want to merge into marketing so we just set that up and we begin the import process and there you can see that those accounts have been merged so we now can go back into QuickBooks and we should see yeah advertising expense has been merged into marketing and um, the other is sales retail has been merged as well. So that's the second way that Axis can provide a great way to help you tidy up a chart of accounts, to rationalize or to merge accounts together. And the final way is to doing your um, balances for your accounts. So we recommend, you know, if you're doing a lot of those, um, then you could create a journal. So I do have a sample journal here. I can sh quickly show you the structure of that. So for example, we want to import a, um, a trial balance in the format of a journal. Then we can, again, we can add this particular information. We have all the accounts down here and then we have the debit and credit amounts. So we can post those by importing as a, a journal entry into QuickBooks. So that's another way of quickly entering that information into the so you'd map in the accounts here so the date ref number being the mandatory fields the debit amount and the credit amount and the account and then you could import those balances quickly into quickbooks so i'll call this a draw balance And very simply, we could, you know, import that directly into QuickBooks. So there's a few examples of how Z-axis can be used to assist you with 
um, a importing chart of accounts list, but also in tidying those up or moving them from one QuickBooks file to another or merging them or basically any uh, more advanced features when managing your chart of accounts list.